Hello everyone, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episode uh, 3, season 2, part 3, The Curse of Dio. Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying Stardust so far. This one's like a little bit of a slow burn, although the first uh, part was like that too. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm trying to record these all like fairly far in advance, um, so I, I won't have read any of the comments on the video yet from the last time. I apologize for that, but um, it's just sort of the nature of trying to get these things ready to go for while I'm on that vacation. I just hate the guitar sound on this. It's like really fat and farty sounding, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so far, still, the first one is still my favorite of them. Um, he, that, that song is probably the best. The outro song, I, between this one or Roundabout, probably Roundabout. I like that it's like, all of this is fiction, so, you know, just so you know, there are no real vampires. Can we confirm that the creator of this is not, in fact, Dio? Because that would be some, that would be some bullshit. Bragging about how cool he is via an anime. And then, has anyone seen him in the daytime? Also, when did Dio get to do this? Like, when did Dio learn to do this shit? Didn't we just say that it was a mind worm? No, I thought it was the mind- is it the mind worm or is he just really charming? Just do it. Either he dies or he dies. It still fucks me up that those aren't piercings. His ears just have dots like that. Wait, what? Well, no, wait, what was that line? Oh, but that's not really charisma. I, I, 
Mind worms are not charismatic. That's like the opposite of what charisma is. Is that a weird translation thing or what? Like that was, so let's imagine that Kakion or whatever the fuck his name is here, he had like a similar experience. Okay, they just pronounced it. Literally, why not? <laughs> but like so Kakion like has like a five second conversation with Dio where Dio's like you have a cool ability I want you to join me and then he stabs him in the face And Kakion probably didn't know about Dio, so, like, he didn't have time to respond to that shit. It just happened. Oh, yeah, cool, so he still does the thing. Thank you. Now, that being said, I still think being stabbed in the brain by a parasite is bad for your life. Like, that's, that's bootleg lobotomy there. Two manly men being manly men. At each other, manlyly, manlyly, is that? Yeah, that that worked. Don't cry. You're gonna mess up the manly moment. A little bit of a weird thing going on with the 3D effect there. Didn't quite work the way they wanted it to, but that's fine. If you go back, you can see that um, he's sliding around on the floor for no reason. I guess if you just sat on the floor, you wouldn't need chairs. I do like having a back to my chair, though. They probably make, like floor seats that you can just sit on like that. I do, however, need like a chair to sit at my desk and I do only sit in really one chair. Hmm. This is just me rambling to myself about like Japanese architecture. How tall is Jotaro? Because they're making a big deal of him having to duck through doorways. I remember that being a thing. My Japanese teacher back when I was a teenager was explaining that, like, they're having to start making doorways taller in Japan. Because while the older people aren't, like, tall enough to, like, hit their head on the doors... 
the younger generations, like the millennial generation, is starting to have issues. A menacing spoon. God damn, if he sees a knife, he's gonna lose his shit. Oh fuck, there's like a whole bunch of kitchen utensils right there. Jesus fuck. Okay. I forget why this is like, and therefore we need to beat up Dio. Wait. Is she dying because she's a dumbass? Okay. Kind of, sort of, but not really. Thank you for explaining that to the no one in the room. So that way I understand. Oh, okay, well, apparently there were people in the room. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought he was going to beat him up for no reason. Okay, that's fair. He's a mama's boy that doesn't really, you know, show it. But as soon as his mom is in danger, he's like, I'm gonna go kick the shit out of someone in Egypt. I can respect that. Yeah, weird that the vampire's always in darkness. No, be that. Oh God, I'd love it if it's just like a shitty drawing. Please be the shittiest drawing in the world. Oh, it's gonna be nice. I'm sure someone's done an edit where it is just dick butt or something. Wow. Yeah, for real. What the fuck do you mean? Flies exist everywhere. <sighs> it's going to be specifically like a fly from like Egypt and that's how they find out. That's fucking stupid. <clears throat> that's real fucking stupid. Oh, he's still here. You feeling better, bud? Doing okay? You over that old uh, asshole syndrome thing? 
They said it was uncurable. Of the characters we've seen, either mostly or partially naked, all of them have been someone's mom directly at the point that we've seen them naked. This makes me question, um, I mean, you know what, if, that's a little bit Freudian, is all I'm saying. Freud was a bitch, as an aside, and died like a bitch. I don't remember how he died, but it's probably true. Said it before, I'll say it again. Can she see stands? Just like make your guy appear and be like, Wooloo Yeah. Weren't you like acting like you couldn't hug her in the airport because you're too old for that shit? Nope. Yeah, that was uncomfortable for everyone in the room. Who's going to stay behind and make sure that she doesn't die from standing? Like, you can't really call a doctor and, like, have them take care of her. Okay. Is a fly. <sighs> okay, I don't know about enough about like insectology or whatever, but like how different are flies like regionally speaking? No, I'm looking it up right now. Fuck this. Do flies from Egypt look... Okay. No. Fly from Egypt versus fly from America. I mean, I, I know Darwin had like a whole thing about this, but... Okay, so this just tells me about flights to and from Egypt. That's that's not Okay, how about house flies? Like, is that, is that his fucking hobby or something? Because I'm looking up flies and I could not tell you which ones. Like, they all look the fucking same.
Okay, so they do have someone to take care of her. So they just like I have a whole division of the Speedwagon organization that's just for this. What happens if you pick a card that someone else has already picked? Why is everyone using this system? Okay. But did Kakion do the same thing? Is this just like a thing? Okay. <sighs> oh, finally we get to walk like an Egyptian. What does that even mean? Is it just like, this is a dance? It's one of those songs where it's just like, you do that, right? Okay. According to this, it's like, uh, the tracks writer... Pinned it after observing people walking uneasily in an attempt to keep their balance aboard a ferry. It reminded him of the figures displayed in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Hi hieroglyphs. I can speak English and that language. So that's okay. That makes sense. This is from uh, songmeaningsandfacts.com or whatever. I trust this random site on the internet. Why not? Like, so this series wouldn't happen unless if A, Dio was an extra bitch who has, like, a coffin with two false bottoms, and B... Um, Avidal has, like, a huge thing for, like, flies. Like, that's his hobby or some shit. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the next episode should already be up in the playlist. If you're looking for the playlist, you can always just click the little eye thing up in the top right at the start of any of the videos in this series. Um, Honestly, if you're going to be watching on any given day, it's probably best to just, like, save that playlist. And especially if you're watching the first episode of the day, click that playlist and then, like, refresh it once you get to, like, this point in the episode. And then you should see the next one in the uh, playlist. Or just save the playlist, like I said. Anyway, I'll see you there. Uh, bye.